So for a problem like this, basically what we want to do is, first of all, when we're looking at the prime factorization, we only really are consider, concerned about the number, not really the value. So I'm just going to put those around in parentheses. The negative is not really going to affect us. Well, we still will write it in at the end. But we're just going to focus on linear factorizing um, 32 and x to the sixth. So what we're going to do is we're going to do these kind of separately. Okay. So 32, um, I can do 8 times 4. Then I can do 4 times 2, 2 times 2, 2 times 2. Doing this one a little bit quicker. Does everybody see that? Then you can see my rows here. I have 2 times 2, and I have 2 times 2. These are all my prime numbers because 2 is prime. So I kept on breaking it down until I had all prime numbers. Then let's go ahead and break down x to the sixth. Now, x to the sixth is, if you guys remember, x squared is equal to x times x. All right, so x to the sixth is basically breaking down x to the sixth is six times. But I do want to show you guys a couple different ways you can still break this down. x to the sixth, you can also rewrite that as x cubed times x cubed. Same thing, but I just want you guys to start thinking about that. If you guys remember your rules of exponents, when you multiply two exponents, you add the powers. And then this can be broken down to x times x times x, x times x times x. It's still going to be multiplied six times. All right? But I just want you to understand, I can still break up x to the sixth in terms, and just like kind of how I did the numbers into, fact, into factors. Then these are what we call our linear factors. These are not linear factors. These are your linear factors. Why are these linear factors? Because their power is 1. Does everybody see that? You also could have done it like this. There's multiple different ways. But you could have done x to the fourth times x squared. Because remember, when you multiply exponents, which we're going to be talking about, I want to remind you guys, when you're multiplying exponents, you add the powers. And we'll do more of this again later. But I just want you guys to see this would still have x to the sixth power. So now let's go and write down our prime factorization. So therefore, I have the negative outside of the parentheses. And I just do 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And then times x times x times x times x times x. 4, 5 times x. And then re in reality, we really don't need the parentheses because we're not distributing. So you can just leave the negative out in front, and that's perfectly fine. You can have the parentheses. It's not wrong. But that would be your linear, that would be your prime factorization. These are all prime numbers. These are all linear factors. Does everybody see how I did that? Okay, That's going to be the only two that I, uh, I am going to go over for this one. How oh, it's my expectation.